Hi, welcome to Max Tutorial number 19, MIDI's Bee Patcher. So, one of the great things about Max is that you don't always have to do things over and over again, and I've shown you how I often steal things from help files and I steal things from the other side, like I made this over here. Um, sometimes if you're making something and it seems just really useful, maybe you ought to save it as a separate file. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take this really nice, um, this nice, uh, piano keyboard that we made here. We're going to make it look pretty and then we'll save it and then we'll use it in a, well, maybe we'll just substitute it back into this patcher for fun just to see how it works. Okay, so what do we need from here to make this um, this piano keyboard work? We need uh, the volume control, the keyboard translator, yes, the pack. Um, uh, we can, I guess we don't need the pack. Uh, let's unlock our patcher here. I'm going to pull the pack down here. Um, and, uh, church organ, I could go either way with that because that is specific to MIDI, but let's just say we wanted to keep it. And tremolo, same thing, it's specific to MIDI, but okay. We want to keep this, and we need the pitch bend control because that's what puts out that, that's what puts out the pitch bend number. Again, that's specific to MIDI, but, uh, let's just pretend that we're, um, doing something that makes sense here. Okay, and we are. But, um, so I'm just going to select all of this stuff up here at the top. And I'm going to copy it. And let's open up a new window. And uh, supersize it there. And paste that stuff into it. So this is what we end up with. There we go. Oh, that looks great. Um, in this new patcher. And this new patcher, we're going to save it as... Whoops, uh, where is it? Save it as a patcher. Um, in my case, I, get it, I save it as a teaching patcher. Now, listen. You're going to save this as keyboard your name. So this is keyboard Johnny. Nobody calls me Johnny, but you can call me Johnny today. Okay, and that goes in our teaching patches. Great. So we're going to save it as that. Now, how do we... Let's make this thing pretty here. So I'm going to type in a new object, and I'm going to type panel. And there's a panel, very nice panel. Whoops, didn't mean to throw everything down to the bottom there. I'm going to just stick it right up there in the corner, tighten in the corner make it nice and big, and I'm going to go up to the Arrange um, item in the menu, and I'm going to say Send it to the back, because I don't want it all the way up at the front all the time. And then um, I'm just going to do something else. There's a, a background in Max, and you can make things part of the background. So we're going to take this object, and uh, excuse me, Arrange, and we're going go to Arrange again, and come down and say Included in the Background. Okay, now that panel is included in the background. Cool. Um, in one second, after we make it a nicer color, uh, see, remember the little bucket here? Let's make it a nice color. So here's this thing. There's our interior color. You get two interior colors, remember? One on the left and one on the right. So let's pick the one on the left and say... Uh, this nice color fades into, we're going to go with a red and purple theme today. How's that sound? Ooh, no. Wait. Oh, I see what I did. I'm sorry. First the red, then the other color. No, no, no. Sorry. First the red, and then go over to this one. There it is. I'm not really used to Max 7 yet. I'll be honest. Look at that. How luxurious that purple is. You don't have to do this color, of course. Okay, 
Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to click up here. I wonder what that one is. The border color. Oh, sure, why not? Uh, I'll make it a royal color. A royal purple. There we go. Okay, whatever. We should be done with that now. Okay, so we have this nice colored panel here. Let's go up to view and say lock the background. Because this object is in the background, the nice thing about now is if you click on it and try to drag it or do anything with it, you can't. And that means that when you're patching and doing stuff, you can move stuff around and you don't have to worry about this thing always dragging all over the place. And you'll see in a minute how nice that is. So let's make a nice um, arrangement here. That's a little fat. Oh, wait, we want to label it, right? Let's label stuff. Okay. Um, so let's make a comment here and we'll call it keyboard. I sometimes use all caps keyboard and we'll format that too. Um, make the text color. I'm going to make it white. You can go with whatever you want. And if you really want to be fancy, you can go over here across the top to the right to Arial. Um, oh, look, Herculaneum. What, what would that be? Oh, yeah, that's for me. And then I'm going to pick a different size, too. Make it nice and big-ish. And centered. I like centered. There we go. Keyboard. That's not big enough. I want it bigger. 18. There we go. Okay, keyboard. And uh, we're going to have a volume control and a pitch bend. So um, I'm so lazy that what I do is I option click on these and then I just make a new one here. Double cl uh, highlight that and I'm going to type volume, except I'm going to make it much, much smaller. Maybe 10. Tiny. Nice. Whoops. I like the look of that. I'm going to just move that over, move that over, move that like that, move this number up like that, bring that in to kind of be aligned with it, all looking good there on that side. Um, we can make the keyboard a bit bigger. Quite funny how it only wants to go to a certain bigness. I'm not sure why. Maybe it can't get bigger. Maybe there's some limit. I don't know. Okay, that's our big keyboard. And I like it right down in the front there. Put that there. Oh, we don't have a number for this, do we? Because it, <laughs> it irritated me too much. Okay. Okay, I remember that. Don't worry. Thin that out a little bit. Make it equal to that one. There we go. Um, I'm going to option click on this volume thing, drag it over here and call it pitch bend. Oops. And then we'll make it wide enough that there it is. There's that. Keyboard, there's that. And it gives us nice centering clues here. Now, as you can see, we can also put uh, this here. It's going to be the acoustic grand piano. We could make that bigger if we wanted to. and even change the font color if we wanted to. Oh, toggle highlight color. Is that the, that's the text color. 
Uh, let's make it um, bright purple. I'll kind of go with that purple thing. Uh, oh, who cares? It's nice. There you go. Acoustic grand piano in purple. And we'll move that out a little bit. And then we'll move our transpose thing up here with its number. Make it the same size, which was 14, as the acoustic grand piano. Bring that in. Get that in there. We can uh, make these uh, arrows the same color as the acoustic grand piano, just for some sort of weird symmetry. I was using standard colors, I think. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not sure which of those is which. I can't remember. That's okay. And then the background, of course, we can make a uh, flamboyant... Um, <laughs> a flamboyant dark color. No. Uh, pink. No. Do we want to use that? Oh, yeah. We do want to use that. I think I want to use that for this number, too. No, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Our point here is just that this is so much work, would you ever even consider doing it twice? Oh, and then there's tremolo. Could almost get all of that in there. There we go. Go more or less. Make that 14, just like acoustic grand piano. It thinks it's level with something. Okay. And the font is going to be purple. And the other font is going to be another shade of purple. Oh, I think we might be making a mistake here. I, I might have changed something like the on and off, but we'll see. Boink, boink, boink. Ah, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which is on and off. We'll find out. Oh, we can find out right now. No, we can't. Why not? Oh, this isn't connected to anything. That's why not. Okay, so. Also, uh, the volume is at zero. There we go. Oh, look at those horrible things. They're the wrong color. Unlock your patcher again. Shift. Click both of those. And let's get this party happening here. Do I really have to spend all this time on purples? I do. I just can't help myself. All right. Um, now that we have... Um, now that we have this beautiful piano, okay, do not forget to do this. Okay, well, one, uh, there it is, unlocked, and now go and unlock the background by, there's a check mark in lock background. Unlock it, click on your panel, and make it the right size for a piano, whatever that is. Okay. Now, highlight everything, okay, and make sure it is included in your presentation, okay, and then we can go back to this. All right, that is just fantastic. I'm going to lock my keyboard and look at it looks good. So now we have this nice piano here and we've saved it. Let's save it again as Keyboard Johnny. And um, unlock it.
and now we're going to have to do one more thing, and that is to get some inlets and outlets. Where are they? Do do. Are they there? Yes. So we want to get some outlets. So just go ahead and drag a couple down there. This is an outlet for a max patch in the same way that um, this patcher has these little output outlets here. The, these will make them for this patcher. So I'm going to option click on this. We need uh, one for pitch, one for velocity, one for tremolo, one for the voice, and one for pitch bend. I think that covers it. So I go to the right hand side of, did we lock the background? I can't even remember now. Go ahead and lock it if you haven't. Lock your background again so you don't have to deal with that stupid thing sliding around. Okay, here is the pitch, and it goes to that one. Here is the velocity, and it goes to that outlet. Um, what else did we want? Oh, right. Uh, voice selection to that one. Tremolo to that one. Uh, transposing. Uh, we have that in here for keyboard translation. We don't need that. And we have the one more for pitch bend. All right. I think that is it. And let's just save this. And then we will go over to its inspector again. And go up to the top and click on Patcher. It is the... I am trying to show the Patcher inspector. Am I just... Okay. Keyboard Johnny Inspector. This is the Patcher Inspector. So what we want this thing to do is to open in presentation mode. So we come down here about two-thirds of the way down and it says open in presentation. And we'll just put an X on that box. And then I think we can pretty much get rid of these. Show horizontal scroll bar. Ah, don't need it. Show toolbar on open. Ah, don't need it. Show vertical scroll bar. Ah, eh, don't need it. Um, and it opens in presentation. And if you really feel fancy, um, you can also pick a color um, for your locked background color that's not this color. Now, let's just say, you'll get the idea in a second. Let's just say you could pick uh, black. There. Oh, I like this dark blue. No, purple. We're in a purple theme. Sorry. There we go. Purple. Okay, very good. So with all those things done, I'll just hide that inspector, and we'll uh, save our patcher. And just one, and then yeah, just put it away. Right? You saved it? You saved it. Put it away. Okay. Now, let's look over here, and without doing anything too stupid... We're going to move all these things, this piano, out of the way. Go over there. Just so if uh, we can just take all this stuff and move it over there, uh, the the video may have just skipped. That's okay. I uh, made a small mistake. Okay, so from here. Um, we're going to call up a B patcher. So type N and type in B P A T C H E R. There it is, B patcher. We get a beautiful blue rectangle. And we just make it big like that, make it highlighted, and then come over here in the inspector. Open the inspector if you don't have it open already. And just choose a file 
and go find your keyboard your name there's keyboard Johnny and I'm gonna open it and see how it looks there hey it's looking pretty good now the one thing that you can see is that it doesn't uh, quite fit in there correctly and you can't change that so what you have to do sometimes is to change the offset so put this in a box and what you're going to try to do is get these top corners to match up okay so I'm gonna just change this offset by well, of course it went to the other one I'm gonna change that offset by um, negative 50 and just see what it does okay so that's the X it moved it to the left negative 50 that's not what we want we only wanted to move that way maybe maybe 10 Boy, I'm having trouble with my mouse and you probably can't see it at all so I'm gonna make that negative 10 and try it again actually I may as well try the Y at the same time and make it a negative 100 whoops way too much but the negative 10 was well no, negative 10 is not right okay I'm gonna try uh, zero on the X and negative oops negative 50 on the Y until you can get it in just the right spot so the X is dead on at zero that's fine and uh, try negative 20 see if we get any closer here okay it's more than 20 so I'm going to try negative 25 and click outside you know that's good enough for me so that gets this patcher to fit right into the top corner of that and then you can fit this to the bottom so why did we do this well now using the B patcher whenever you want a keyboard for something that you've built you don't need to start all over you can just go get your keyboard your name and put it into your patcher and there it is now um, do we have any idea what these things do um, it, I remember this is pitch so I'm going to substitute it here pitch this was velocity okay there's velocity I believe this next one was the grand piano um, what needed to use select that was tremolo so that must be the next one and this one uh, was pitch this is a pitch bend over here and we can just connect that all the way down tracing this wire out oh so carefully to here and now how can we test it and make sure that we actually have the right one well that's a, a, a brilliant question I would say the thing to do is turn the volume down on this one whoops lock your patcher turn the volume way down on this one and then um, come back over here and turn your volume up-ish maybe to 120 make sure that you've got a something that you recognize a music box perhaps and try to play okay so tremolo is working and then let's try this uh, um, up down here uh, I'm gonna use this instead of the keys so that I know that this one's working fantastic and then pitch bend everything working so what we can do now is whoops unlocking our patcher again go over here and just throw it all in the trash bonk and that's how you do it when you want to do stuff with a B patcher um, 
And you'll also notice that when you open your uh, the original version of this up, that it comes up very nicely since it opens in presentation. If you're going to use it with Bpatcher, do remember that you have to get it to open in presentation, and you have to remember what these outlets are. There's actually a name, a way to label them um, uh, inside the inspector, but we'll get to that another time. For the time being, this is Bpatcher, this is how it works, and it allows you to save a lot of time when you're building stuff. If you build your components and then put them together, you should be able to um, reuse them again and again and uh, not have to work so much. And that's what it's all about. So, with that said... Oops. Don't be making objects. Lock your patcher. And play a happy song. All right. Have a great time. Patch on.